Oh, these are the raspberries, right? Yeah, nice. Right, so they get the bags and then they acclimate them like they should. As you can see there, some snails. Nice, nice. Healthy fish. Oscars. They're so little. Awesome. In box number one. All right, guys, we got two more boxes. Two more boxes to go. That's so cool how they wrap it in that stuff. <clears throat> do they always do that? Yes. That is hopefully so if a bag leaks and doesn't soak all the way the box. Right. Because then it's not ready. Yeah. I've never seen anyone. Uh, ship fish like that. Are those uh, fiddler crabs? These are little red claw crabs. And they go out right away. Nice. Those are cool looking. Which tank are you going to put them in down there? You just dump them out like that. Those are nice. Those are perfect for 10 gallons and like 20 gallons. White clouds. Alrighty. Oh yeah, there they are. Like the green leaves. Nice. One more box. Let's get it. Oh, that one's nice. These guys are pretty delicate during shipping. <clears throat> That one didn't make it. Aww. They're all dead? That one didn't make it either? It is really 
Angelfish. Yeah, angelfish are like that. Beautiful koi angel. Healthy too. Look at all the beautiful angelfish guys. Hey guys, welcome to a new series called World's Smallest Tank. Actually, this is not even a series. I believe this is going to be a new challenge. So, what this is essentially is find something that you can turn into the smallest container of water that can support life for a very minimal amount of time. So, what I'm going to do essentially is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to turn this into an aquarium. I got my substrate here. And I got my aquarium water here. It's already been cycled, but you know, people say there's no beneficial bacteria in the water. That's okay. There's beneficial bacteria in here in this substrate. So calm down guys. Just chill out. All right. And I'm a plant guy. So I got some crypts right here and I don't know if I'm going to put the whole thing in there, but I, I will probably put a few, uh, small pieces in there and then we're gonna add the fish that's gonna go in there and I'm gonna try to put a, a airline tube in there and see if I can create some filtration but in this I think it's gonna be not not worth it I'm gonna try it anyways just for entertainment purposes but let's go ahead and get the tank going okay guys all right guys now I have my small aquarium done I got the water the sand and the plant in there now it is time to put a fish in there let me go ahead and go grab the fish. All right guys, I got the fish, but you can barely see him because he's so tiny. Let me see if I can get him in my hands real quick. All right guys, check him out. This is my Cori Hebrosis. They are small micro catfish. Let me go ahead and put them in there now. Whoop, oh, there he goes. I don't know if you guys can see him or not, but he's in there now. He is chilling. There we go. So, this is the world's smallest aquarium. This is the master aquatics version. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put him back now. I don't think he, he likes being in there. Although I'm pretty sure he's, he's comfortable, but I think it's time to put him back in his home, guys, right? Alright guys, I'm putting him back. You're free, buddy. You're free. Where'd he go? There he is. You're free, buddy. And you're good. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to stress you out so much. People in the comments are going to be like, Why'd you do that? I'm sorry, guys. I like to have fun with my fish. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And my name is Master Aquatics, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. And... Peace out, guys.